now so what is your financial management financial management it is nothing but managing your finance to run the day to day show to run the day to day business you need capital that we call as working capital buying of shares selling of shares buying of bond selling of bond all comes under financial institution and which are called as trading A warm welcome to honor all. This is your Radha sir here, lecturing with the Ashram Prospect College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your topic called financial management. Your fourth semester BBA. The topic is financial management. What do you mean by financial management? What we are going to study or we are going to learn in this particular topic. Step by step, we'll go before that. Before we get into the topic. we will understand what syllabus you have what topics you have in the financial management now so what is your financial management financial management it is nothing but managing your finance managing your finance in the sense whatever the available resources you have what is the available money you have from that how do you manage your business how do you manage your finance so without finance you cannot run your company without finance you cannot sustain in the industry the reason is for everything if you want raw material you need finance if you want employee finance salary if you want any marketing you need finance for each and everything you need finance how do you manage this finance for that we have a topic called financial management So, what are the learning outcomes? On successful completion of the course, the student will demonstrate first one able to recall concept of financial system, how financial systems are working, how it is interrelated. So, these things you will learn. Able to differentiate the roles of financial. Institution. There are many financial institutions are there. All banks comes under financial institution. All your institution comes under SEBI guidance, which are financial institution. All the like, for example, any finance sectors like they are providing loans, finance, debt. All comes under financial institution. Able to understand concept of financial. services what are the financial services keeping deposit in the bank financial service or taking loan financial service or depositing in saving bank account financial service buying of bond share security all comes under financial services to understand the trading process of instrument how do you trade trade means what buy and sell buying of shares selling of shares buying of bond selling of bond all comes under financial institution and which are called as trading then able to summarize the concept of stock market so the stock market also part of your finance there is a reason you will understand what is stock market first one your model number 1 or else we can call it as unit 1 first one introduction to financial management it is all about your theories now meaning of finance business financial functions organization structure of financial department financial management goals financial management decisions then role of financial manager financial planning steps principles of sound financial planning factors influencing sound financial plan these are the topics which are included in introduction to financial management there will be a compulsory question what do you mean by financial management the objectives advantage limitations along with that you will get who is a financial manager what are the major functions of financial manager along with the, the sources of finance like long term short term these are the major topics you are supposed to cover unit number 2 it is a time value of money what do you mean by time value of money 
Now, meaning need future value, single flow, uneven flow in this, you have annual clause. So we have a present value, we have future value, we have annuity and we have loan amortization. These are the topics which are covered under time value of money. We'll go in detail while doing the time value of money, but just understand what is time value of money. That time value of money, it is nothing but what is the future value. For example, today's 100 rupees is equal to today itself. Same 100 rupees 2023 in 2040. 100 rupees you will get 1 liter fuel now. For paying 100 rupees you will get 1 liter fuel. In 2040 will you get 1 liter fuel for 100? No. The money value changes. For 100 rupees you may get half liter fuel. Not even half lesser than that. So these are called as time value of money. So whatever time passes the value of money will Changes. Sometimes it will be more, sometimes it will be less. Unit number three, financing dividend decision. The major topic, 60% of your question paper, which is covered by unit number three. Again, I'll repeat, your 60% of your question paper, which is covered with what? Unit number three. First one, sources of long-term finance, meaning Concept, what is a capital structure? Factors influencing capital structure. Capital structure, EBIT, what is EBIT? Earning before interest and tax. EPS, earning per share. These kind of problems will be there. The next topic will be leverages. Leverages problems you will get after that. Dividend policy, there are two types are there. One is Gordon's model, one more is Walter's model, two methods of dividend policy. You will understand all these topics in topic called financing and dividend decision. Three topics you will get. One is capital structure and the second one dividend policy, dividend policy and the third one is leverages. So topic 1, topic 2, topic 3. Out of your 60 marks paper, almost 40 marks paper will be covered with these three topics. Capital structure, dividend policy and the last one, your leverages. Unit number 4, it is an investment decision. This we call it as capital budgeting. Under capital budgeting, what do we get? we get capital budgeting, payback period, ARR, accounting rate of return, net present value, we call it as NPV, and internal rate of return, IRR, ARR. So these kind of profitability index, PI, on this you have problems. NPV you have problems, profitability index you have problems, as well as your payback period, as well as your accounting rate of return. On these topics, you will get problem. This topic we call it as capital budgeting. How do you budget? Budget means what? Forecast, planning for future. Your last topic is called working capital management. One of the easiest topic you have that is working capital management. There are two types of capital. First one is called as fixed capital. And second one is called as working capital. For example, if you want to start up a new business. Now, whatever the building, structure, infrastructure, your machinery, all comes under fixed capital. Once you have set up your business, every day you have to run your business. The raw material you buy, the salary paid to your employee, the rent you pay, electricity charges, all this comes under working capital to run the day-to-day -day show, to run the day-to-day -day business, you need capital that we call it as working capital. So how much working capital required that you will find out in the working capital management. So once you are done with this, you have all the skill development all comes under 
your additional 60 marks will be your paper. The remaining 40 marks comes with what? Your skill development. So these are the marks structure, your internal assessment. You have three internal assessment based on one, two, unit three, unit four, and unit five. Out of three, we consider best of two. Out of three, we consider any two best marks will be considered for your internals. So your question paper pattern, it will be five into two or two into five. Two mark question will be there. Five questions you will get. 10 into 2, 10 marks, 2 questions. 15 into 2, 15 marks, 2 questions. And this will be your total. Minimum marks for passing. As you know that out of 60, 35%, it comes around 21 for passing out of 60. What is the overall passing? Overall, it should be 40. So from theory or from your question paper, you should score 21 and total any number in the internal marks, total it should match 40. In case internal marks you got 0, out of 60 if you score 40, still you are pass. Hope you are clear. So minimum is 21, maximum is any number up to 60. So these are the textbook you are supposed to refer for your financial management. If you go through all this textbook, it is easy, you will understand better, but for your syllabus purpose, whatever notes given by Vidyashram, that is more than sufficient. In your question paper, each and every topic will cover if you refer the Vidyashram notes. If you want any further information, additional information, additional knowledge, you can go with these textbooks. So this is all about your today's session. We are just done with your introduction part as well as I gave you a small introduction about what is financial management. It is one of the most interesting topic. So in the next coming sessions, we'll go topic wise and we'll solve more number of problems. Thank you.